Darren Weir, finally back in action. You must be looking forward to getting back into the games now. Yeah, it's two weeks has felt like a lifetime, to be honest. Um, and the idea behind how we was going to structure these two weeks um, hasn't quite gone to plan. But it's it what it's produced is something I'm not happy with. You know, we've got a couple of niggles that have added to our list of unavailable players, which is which is frustrating. But we have to get on with it. At the end of the day, I will have eleven players on the pitch tomorrow that I will trust and believe in that are capable of going to win a football match for the club. We face a main head side that have started brightly. What what kind of game are you expecting tomorrow? Yeah, it'll be tough. Like I, I, I do, I do say it every week. It'll be a tough game. You know, teams come here and make it difficult for us. Whether they come with Torquay's approach, for example, where they where they press us early on and try and unsettle us, or whether they come and and sit behind the ball and make it difficult and try and be compact and hard to break down, you know we we're, we're we're preparing the team for for all types of tactics that we could be up against, and on the whole, I think our approach to most games has been been okay which is why our start's been acceptable um, but what we need to do going into certainly going into home games is is really taking the ball by the horns and trying to win games because our, our away form on the road has been good um, and what we need to do is turn our home ground into a fortress where people don't enjoy coming and it's and that, and that's our responsibility as a team and myself and Junior, you know. So we're putting in some work to hopefully take us in the right direction. And we know that when people come here, they enjoy the surface, you know. Sprinklers are on before the game. Everyone always gets a little spring in their step because they're 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 playing here. But we make we have to make it uncomfortable for teams when they when they come here. Where's Fonga? Cause come back in over the past week or so. How's he got on since arriving back here? He's actually trained as if he hasn't been away, to be honest. Um, he's always got a big smile on his face. He's a great kid. Um, I'm really, really pleased that he's come back. Um, I have not I have an understanding of what was trying to happen for his career. Didn't quite go as his representatives wanted. Um, but... What I know I've got, because I've looked ways between the eyes, is I've got a kid back here that is fully committed to what we're trying to do. And he's a goal-scoring midfielder, which is which is a good quality to have. He's a, he's a good personality. And he's been welcomed back into the group and, and settled in very well. So he could be in uh, shape to be involved tomorrow? Yeah, he'll be in the, He'll be up for selection, so it's it's nice to have him back and, and know that we've got that type of quality in our ranks. Yeah, having the slight break gave us a chance to have the open training session out on the field. Just share your thoughts on the day. I was a bit disappointed, if I'm honest. Um, obviously, a big part of what I've been trying to drive is togetherness and what have you. Um, and to the to the handful that turned up, I'm. I'm truly grateful, but I've got to be honest. I I I tend to be honest, as you as you know. I try to be. Um, I was disappointed with the turnout. Um, didn't didn't come and spend the day with us, which which is what I'd hoped. But listen, everyone's got their choice. But it's my feeling, and my feelings won't change. The more they get behind us, and the more they support us, you know, we'd be better for it. So I there's no. My best day, my best moment as a as a Barnet manager was was obviously the Brentford game. We had a full house, everyone, great atmosphere, and that's all I'm striving to create. and I, And I want to be able to do that. So I just ask that you come along in your numbers and you get behind the team. I don't think it's too much to ask. And just finally, obviously, we've had a few knocking around the treatment from over the past few. Weeks a few. <laughs> How's the squad shaping up, looking for tomorrow? Listen, we've got injuries. There's there's. Everyone gets injuries, and we're no different. We've got injuries. We've probably got a few more than most, but we've got we've got some we've got some serious ability and serious talent in the in the treatment room that are, 
that are not on the grass. Um, half of them are probably close now. They've had one or two training sessions, so over the next few games, we'll we'll start getting one or two of them back, which is which is a real plus. Um, the biggest disappointment at the minute is Dunny, looking like he's. I mean, originally it was it was quite serious that we thought it could be a, a, a serious amount of time. Um, that amount of time has been halved, which is a plus, but. That's still that's still a big period of football that he's got to miss, which which I'm disappointed about because he come in and settled in great, um, and he had been playing very well. So he's him, and one other, which obviously I don't want to name day before a game, but there's one other that looks like he could be out for maybe six to eight weeks. We're hoping it's shorter than that, but um, so we've got a couple that I would consider as sort of longish term. And then the rest, like I say, one or two have been back on the grass. Um, But tomorrow comes a little bit too soon for, for them.